In this tutorial, I'll teach you how you can make a simple MVC login form and then validate the entered user data in the controller. So you can download uh, the source code from our website. Uh, in this program, we are displaying this uh, screen and when user clicks on the login form, login form is displayed and in the login form, uh, you have to enter username in the username field and password in the password field and then and then submit then it will validate the user with the hard coded with values and display the welcome message and if something else is entered here is it will display the error message so you can download the course source code from here then then extract this. Now copy the path. In the Eclipse, you can import it, the existing project. Then OK, then finish. So this is project is imported here. And uh, let me explain you the project. Index.jsp file and we are concentrating on this link. So when user clicks on login form, the login form is displayed and uh, this uh, forms is being handled by the dispatcher server. So all the requests after forms is being displayed, uh, is being handled by the dispatcher server. And this is the configuration of dispatcher server. It is based on the annotation. So annotation is used to configure the controllers, validators, etc. in this in this application. And the package to be scanned is net.roseindia.controllers. This is the package, this one. Then uh, with the, we have the view resolvers, then message uh, file, and uh, this is the multiple resolver if we want to upload the file. And uh, next thing is the controller file. Next thing is the form file. This is the login form and it has two variables, username and password. And this uh, form class is used to store the data from the login form. And then we have the login controller here. It is uh, using this uh, controller annotation and request is uh, being handled by this form so form and uh, post is handled by this process form so we have two variables username and password and it contains username and password values we are validating the form input with the uh, if username is equal to this uh, variable username and the password is equal to this variable password so if a user enters username and and password in the text field it is validated otherwise it will display the login page again so to make a project like this you have to create the controller class then form class then in the dispatcher servlet you have to specify the mbc colon annotation driven so that annotated classes is loaded and configured by spring and this is the package to be scanned for controllers validators etc and in the web file web.xml file we are we are declaring this dispatcher servlet and uh, mapping all the requests after forms to this dispatcher servlet so we can run the example like this run as on server then finish and this is the login form if we don't enter anything these uh, validation messages are displayed since this form is here and it contains the not empty size minimum and maximum not empty minimum and maximum size validation so it is applied here 
and uh, if I enter something else it will display the same login form to if you enter username in the username field and password in the password field it will display the welcome message so this is the source code here and you can download and try we have hundreds of tutorials on the spring framework that you can visit here and learn from these tutorials and these are all many tutorials on higher spring framework we have thousands of tutorials on other programming languages also like hibernate starts xml spring java core java advanced java php java server faces so you can visit our website and learn from these tutorials thanks for watching that video and subscribe our youtube channel